mission did start? <laughs> As always, we will start the thing off with the ever important question that I know everyone is wondering. Are you really a moose? I mean, we've never really seen any pictures of you. Well, my parents have always told me I'm different. But I'm no biological expert, so let you and the viewers choose for yourself. Wait, does this mean we get a picture of you to finally put our imagination to rest? I can see those beautiful eyes. Check out that link. I googled moose with beautiful eyes. It has a striking resemblance, believe me. So, the absence of horns, does, does that mean you have yet to reach puberty? Uh, are you implying that I haven't? I'm a manly moose as far as I'm concerned. Oh really, then why have we never heard of any femooses? I'd kick your ass. <sighs> Wait, what's that link? Uh, have you not, did you not see that link? <laughs> We should move on. You've been a long time member of the ghost since you had a uh, high shrill voice. Now you're coming up on your final years. How'd you come about you? Do you have any fond memories from the days of old? Uh, I came about the group on Forge Hub when I was like 13. Uh, I was originally under the name Forge Vortex, which was a Forge duo that didn't really last very long. My partner was a stereotypical ass from what I choose to remember of him. As for fond memories, well, there are some definitely cool ones. In particular, uh, my first couple of times playing Trevor Blast and Clue with the group are standouts. Otherwise, all the other sweet H3 customs that have gone are probably my favorite times playing video games ever. Games like Crazy Laser Hammer and Golf were sweet. So, you were fond of gaming sessions, and you hated your partner. What game did you prefer to play most? Uh, it was always Clue. It's a standout rocking time. Especially on maps like the Museum, and the Estate, and Troika. And Cyclo and Cyclopean, and this map, and that map, etc., etc. Oh god, that was a powerful punch right to the nostalgia. So, did you ever make a clue map yourself, or did you just play them? Uh, I tried and failed numerous times. So, uh, I'd need to check my reach to be sure. I may have uh, made one and forgot. Would have been anything like Christmas Dangler, aka the greatest map ever made? <laughs> oh my fucking god. This interview just got a hundred times better. Shout out to Dunkin' My Cookies, the spiritual successor to Cliffhanger, also known as the official turn of Bungie Made Maps. <laughs> I mean, seriously, what could, what could be better than randomly placed death barriers, trapped to ghosts, teleporters that took you nowhere, and power weapons out the ass? Tanks. Tanks everywhere. So many tanks. <laughs> Elite gameplay. Oh, uh, good times. Uh, you listeners, if you're even listening, you can download it by clicking the link that's in the interview. Upper echelon for <laughs> Oh, but we digress. Let's move on. Do you remember being promoted to Phantom? Uh, I do, sort of. I know what happened when our exam got promoted. Good times. That was a fun question. Next, what are your thoughts on global warming? This rapid fire? <laughs> Uh, as for global warming, I don't really know what to think. A solution will come, but, not, uh, but it won't happen in my lifetime. So, I'm not really inclined to care, really. You said A, which reminds me you're Canadian, A. Is it cold there? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Uh, could you repeat that? I was too busy repairing my seal oil lamp and tending to my salmon fillets. I'm sorry, my awesome American must have shrouded what I was trying to say. Is your hoose located in the Great White North where Hacky and other wintry delights are about the only thing you care about? Yes, and I'll make sure to keep caring about those things while you keep on killing Iraqis or whatever it is you do down there. Do you witness the Aurora Lights on a regular basis? Are they considered your gods? Do I worship the Aurora Borealis? If yes, Pixar didn't have it. Is this a stereotype that you just conjured out of nothing? I like it. Well, perhaps it is. Wait, wait, wait. You know what stereos are? Uh, look, this is in New Zealand. People here are at least semi-confident with technology. So, in, in that link, did you, did you take that picture? Yeah, right on my sled-mounted camera. Did you use the frost filter or risk being frozen? <laughs> to capture it. Uh, there was a risk. I now have a gimp leg. Oh, uh, alright. In all seriousness, though, how big is your igloo? 800 square feet. It's quite spacious. Oh, not bad for a lumber deck. But you also have a pet polar bear. Oh, you mean Gordon? He likes long walks. <laughs> no, I'm a beach, I assume. Hello! Zing! <laughs> 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 One time I put him on skis. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, now he's a rug. Well, it was a fun time uh, last night. <sighs> oh, fair enough. You were more to face off eventually anyway. It was bound to happen. Let's move on. Rest in peace. Uh, when did you realize you were freaking annoying hell out of those damn magnets? When you yelled at me. That was a pretty good indicator. Well, just as long as you keep them in the freaking door. I did like five minutes, but the like five minutes ago. How old are you ever yet? You sound like my mom. Hold on! I love magnets! <laughs> have you ever watched Upon the Star? I have. <laughs> did it come true, or was it true like the rest of Canada and forever forgotten in the land of eternal snow and frigid Indian? Uh, well, I'm doing this interview right now, aren't I? Wait, this interview was your wish? Yep. It's <laughs> a bad idea. Uh, sorry for your loss, or something? Oh, well, you know it's a good interview, and the most educational thing to come out of it is Precipice Dangler. You speak the truth. Let's go back a moment, shall we? I'd, I'd a little trip down memory lane when you, me, and dude we know his dad decide to make <laughs> something. Wait. Well, hold, up. hold the fucking phone. What? I did make a clue map. How could I forget? Yeah, BT and I made one. It's called uh, Ye Old Black Moose. Holy shit, I remember that one. Oh man, what a beautiful chocolate man he is. <laughs> Man. <laughs> uh, was that guy had the, what, the neon hallway and... Yeah, man. The bookcases and lounging chairs? You forget one thing, though. What's that? No one cares. Let's get back to what we were talking about. Uh... New maps came out. Uh, Bungie was bragging about they were awesome and boasted awesome balance and gameplay. So we downloaded them, we had fun on them, and we got the cliff And we were like... Man, something smells bad. Oh, it's this shit. Yeah, like a massive pile of it. It was an inter it was like an interspecies shit pile, ultimately. So we decided, hey, if this is what makes an excellent map, we should try and get something out that competes with it. So we went into Ford World and started randomly throwing objects all over the place. We had to keep gameplay and weapon balance in mind, though. Yes. Shoes everywhere. We overloaded it with death barriers, shield doors, delays, and... Things. It took forever to make, like 35 minutes or something. There was some very stringent tweaking to spawn times as well as respawn points. It was exhausting. Oceans, bro. Spawns in the ocean. Oh. I forget not. How about the one in midair that had a respawn weight that made you respawn there at least five times in a row, only for your death? It was a pivotal piece of the puzzle. Uh, good times. And then we showed it to Bungie and they were like, Take back heat, Michelangelo. Mona Lisa ain't got shit on this masterpiece. Oh, uh, definitely. Oh, well, I think we carried on with this mindless banter for long enough. In grand fashion, we have to end this thing on high note. When do you think Canada will sink into the icy depths of the northern sea? Okay. The link. My thoughts, uh, exactly. Fair enough. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. And hope everyone else does as well. Oh, wait, wait, wait. One more thing. Hmm? Uh, don't worry about it. Thanks. No, 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 no. You don't get to leave on a precipice dangler like that. I refuse. You will tell me that final detail. Nah, no, no, no. See you, Bobo. Thanks for the sweet interview. Oh dear. <laughs> Figure why not, right? <laughs> okay. Maybe we can maybe we can pin this to the end as a uh, bonus material. <laughs> this this can't be good at all. <laughs> uh, if only Deb were here and it were eleven at night. This would be yeah. a great conversation. Perhaps. <laughs> Not for the young audiences, perhaps, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm just googling images about about moose. A boot? A boot moose. A boot moose. We. Yeah. So you <laughs> What game did I most prefer?
Uh. Yeah, and if anyone is actually listening to all of this, in case yeah. you haven't caught on, this is us doing the interview, but we're in Mumble at the same time. This is kind of like Interviewception. It is. Except not nearly as cool like as an, that movie. It's like an interview within an interview. No one's ever gone that deep! <laughs> no one's ever gone that deep. <laughs> I hope no one ever does go this deep for five cents. Okay, um... Hey-o! First choice is always... Stay there, rocking. Uh, I love how I can hear you, like, talking to yourself and typing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like to think about what I say. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Uh, yeah. Don't think, Try just type. Yeah. That's when the answers are good. Cyclopean was pretty badass. Yeah. Good old Cyclopean wall. Oh man, that's a great. This is just standout maps. Oh, so much fun. Now I miss Foundry. I, I did, I've always missed Foundry, man. I just want to like geo merge stuff and remind myself of how bad I was at forging to start. I miss the cage and the crane. Or the fence box. That's what it was. The fence box and the crane. Remember that? I that missed the fucking crane. I missed <sighs> the window panels, man. Oh, uh, like, yeah. And, and, and all the movable items, like the grab lifts and the pallets and the, and the everything. The firebomb grenades and all the stupid customs I would join for no reason. That was just people playing cops and robbers on the same goddamn map every time. Oh, cops and robbers. I forgot about that one. Takedown. Remember Takedown. Ooh, Takedown was fun. Oh, Takedown was fucking badass. Rob's a chill bro, man. I'd love to start playing some games with him again. I, still, I wonder if I still have Rob's number. Do you? I might. Check my phone him. right quick. Should, we, we should prank call him. Uh, uh, probably, not, probably not a good idea. Doing He's it right now. Up. Are you? Oh, my Putting him on order. speaker. Uh, oh, jeez. Can you hear it? Hello? Can you hear it? Uh, no. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now, can you? Yeah. It's ringing. Wow. Well? Rob. Yeah? This is Biscuit. Oh, hey, Biscuit. What's up, I, brother? Uh, I got a new phone recently because I lost mine in the salt water. I'm going to take So this was completely random. I'm talking to Moose on Skype right now. And, uh... We were we were reminiscing about old old games, and we thought about Takedown and how fucking amazing it was. I was like, I wonder if I still have his number, and I did, so I called you. <laughs> well, you sh should just buy Minecraft until Halo Four comes out. I don't even know. Well, actually, I'm going to uh, be up to with you. Really. Which means you need to purchase Minecraft. It is. I don't know nothing about Minecraft. It's just like building and. It's more addictive than Forge, dude. I love you, Rob. Moose says he loves you. <laughs> I don't know if I have you. Do I have you added on Facebook? Uh. I don't think so. I don't know. Uh, 
fly around. It's a survival. It's a survival server that we run. So you you like actually have to mine the materials that you use and shit. Trust me, dude. I didn't think I would like it either. And then Moose fucking told me to get it, and <laughs> now I play eighteen hours a day or whatever. <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is the most pointless game on the planet. There's absolutely zero purpose to the game other than to waste your time. But it's amazing. <laughs> Say goodbye to your law school dreams. What's that? You just you like build all kinds of crap? Yeah, build whatever the hell you want. I build a city. <laughs> and then you, then you got people like Vice who like build like ridiculous redstone things and then you got arenas for PvP and you got it, it's it's ridiculous. Yeah, we ha we have a pig racetrack. Shout out to Vice, way to go on redstone. I mean, it's amazing. It's awesome. You should get it. It's only what, 20 bucks? 20 bucks. It's more than that now. Maybe it's like 25, I don't know. But it's really like super cheap and it's awesome. <laughs> Uh, it's just one. Just do mine. Just go to Minecraft.net and you can download it and whatnot. On the PC. What's that? Um, PC or Xbox? PC. PC. Oh, I, I, I never game. I don't even know if I have anything capable about Minecraft. Tr trust me, you. It, there's no capabilities required. It's a 16-bit video game, dude. It's not like it's graphic intensive. Oh, is it like super, is it super old? Not super old. Minecraft for Xbox? Yeah, there's Minecraft for Xbox, but you can't play on our server with that. Yeah, and it's an old version. Oh. That and it, yeah, and it's an older version. Server saying that. like that, like when you was like separating from Xbox and Minecraft, it was just like everything was on the server, and I had no idea what anyone was talking about. Yeah. You, so yeah, you should definitely buy it and download it. And install it and play it. We hey we just we just got Irish in the game so we can get you. Damn yeah, Irish loves and, it. And Irish spends every single moment of his life. Perfect. Now you need a new game till August. <laughs> nah. And you say you don't have you won't have internet at the apartment when you move up here. Lucky for you, you'll live fucking 20 minutes away from me, so when you need your gaming fix, you can just come over to my place. And Bo will cook you up some mean-ass steaks, too. And we'll cook out and drink beers, because you're of age, correct? Why? Why? <laughs> you know, it's just like, I was like, mm, I really need something to do tonight. And then this random number pops up, I'm like, 614. That's not that random girl I met on vacation, I know. <laughs> That's right. Oh, and by the way, you're gonna you're gonna need to go on the forums and uh, like at the first of the month or the fourth, July fourth, because that's when I usually post these things up. Because this is the interview for Moose, uh, and you're making a guest appearance. That's right. I'm recording our conversation. What's that? Yeah. When was the last time you were on Goo? Damn it. Get on the forums, become active again, buy Minecraft, and you'll fucking love me forever. And that's marrying you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I went to log on, and like, my password, I knew what my password was, but I guess when the system changed, it screwed up my password. And then, like, I had to contact them, and, uh, back, and then I, I don't even know. I was go, and he was there for five years since I was playing Minecraft. Uh, he has. Yeah. I told you, man, you're missing out. You get on, make sure that you use your normal fucking name, because I can't stand it when people sign on and be like, oh, this is Handsome Rob, well, why is your name fucking Tinkerbell? Yeah. M make sure that you use Handsome Rob as your name, so people know who the hell you are. Yes. Make sure also if you if you do get Minecraft, you also have to download Mumble. It's a uh, it's a it's a voice chatting service that we use other than Skype because Skype is so resource heavy. I use a 
Uh, you can use the microphone, yeah, on your webcam, yeah. Just make sure you use push to talk. Right. I've heard a lot about this, all kinds of this game. All right. Uh, well, when you no, do, me and Moose will be there to help you out. Yep. Well, we can I'll give you... send you a, a text or whatever so you can catch rolling, and uh, you can teach how to use the kind of nothing. I mean nothing about the game about PC. All right. So, all right, man. Well, it was good talking to you, dude. Yep, good talking to you. Big, you give Moose a shout-out for me and give him a big kiss on the webcam. Oh, he can hear you. I can hear you, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Well, I'll talk to you later. All right, brother. <laughs> this is just became the greatest interview ever. It is. It's pretty badass. You hear that, Dev? I just recruited someone else, I think. Okay, so anyway, back to the... Uh, what did you say? Blah, 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 blah. That comment was a powerful punch right to the nostalgia. 